Hey guys, I figured I'd go do my uh, tip ups and show you how I do my walleye. Um, I have a bunch of beaver dams for my my um, uh, northerns, and I get a couple of them plastic jobbers and prebles. Um, I think I have nine of them in that one box. Uh, a couple of years ago, some guy. Um, on marketplace was selling his he had seven eight eight tip ups he had six of these these are the old relic uh, polar number two these are heavy duty ones um, I like these these ain't too bad um, but what I do is I take a, a eight pound eight to ten pound uh, fluorocarbon uh, line and I cut it about three feet and I put a number, uh, what I put on there, a 14, a number 14 treble. And what I do is I uh, just put an eyelet on the end to keep that line straight. But yeah, I don't, I don't mind these here. Um, you just get kind of used to these because he, these ain't like the, the the beaver dams where they only go up so high. These can make a whole 360, I'll show you. Not 360, but it goes up like this, or it can go down like this. I used to have these, and I sold them, and I bought beaver dams, and now I just, I don't, I just rather have these beaver dams. They, they'll find it, but To me, the 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 river dams they um, they freeze up too fast. I want something with the spool. Cause this spool here moves up and down. Beaver dams don't, and at least you can get the the ice and stuff. And I can take these out without just have a nut on the bottom. You see that? Uh, let's see, you can see that? There's a nut on the bottom. And you got a nut on top with a spring. You can take this whole shaft off and lube it up if it gets sticky or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to to lube these up than it is to beaver dam. Beaver dam, you got to take uh, the heat gun or a torch and heat the bottom of the spool up and drop it out. Take the the, the shaft out of here. Take that all out, slam some grease in there, and then put the shaft back in there, clean the tip off, put the spool back in, and then solder the end in. Hopefully the solder, you do a good job of soldering it, because otherwise the spool will be on the bottom of the lake. But yeah, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of these tip-ups for walleyes. Um, and should go pretty decent in this case as long as I got them up here like this and then this one here goes in here like this this is what I carried in just like this now my walleye or my my northern one is the same thing But this one here, um, it's got top trays on here like this. I like this because I can keep my tip-up lights in this. It holds them really well. Um, all I did was if I cut the ends off, I can hold six in each one. So, but I figured I can hold. I got nine, nine of these, uh, these are called blue tips from Deep Freeze. Um, I like them. Never had a problem with them, no issue with them. Um, but yeah, I, I, my, I'll show you my northern line and what I do. These are the, 
I guess you have to pull the tip ups. These are this is my kids. He's got two of these. I think he's got no, I've got three of the um one thing I don't like about these pull it tip ups, you can't put these uh hooks nowhere. So you gotta reel them up and the hook stays and just catches my beaver dams. I just, I just don't like them. Then my beaver dams get all messed up. But yeah, I got the same thing with my beaver dams. I got a little eyelid here for my uh I'm gonna scroll through my hooks on my northerns here. See, I'm gonna leave this one. I gotta change. I'm gonna go through my, like I said, I'm gonna go through my northern one too. I gotta change some hooks on them. They ain't that hard to change. Um, so, I'll leave that one sit out. So, yeah. Um, my. Tackle box. My tackle box. I have all kinds of stuff in there. I shall show you. No, I won't show you. Just too much. Just way too much stuff here. But I got the compartments on the side here. What I got was different size trebles. I bought a bunch of them. And I got them marked size four. Say so six, eight, ten, and twelve. I must have eights on them. I must have eights on them. Someone said put size twenty on them for the walleye, but uh, I just don't see like putting number size twenty on them for walleyes. I could. I should, what I should do is put my size 12 on them. My size 12s will, they'll be fine. But yeah, I got just just a plain old box. It's got six to, or five compartments, sorry. But I just put the, just so I just buy, buy bulk, buy bulk uh, treble hooks. I don't know, 20, 30 at a crack. That way I got enough. And when I go on a lake, I'm not gonna have issues when I uh, get out there. And they keep, you know, separate from everything else. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I got. So, um, I'm gonna change my hooks out and we'll be, I should be ready by ne for next weekend then. Uh, it's, uh, Told the kid he's got to get his stuff ready by t tomorrow. So, uh, so with school and stuff, that way he's not messing around with it during the week. And um, we can have everything packed and loaded by Friday and boogie up Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to comment, like, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.